Hey, what's up, Silver Stackers and YouTube community and anybody else who may happen to see this? Jeffrey Howard here, Mastermind Mentor, and I have another uh, unpackaging or unboxing video of some uh, new silver that I just got. In fact, this is the one I, I made the last video, and this is what I thought I got last time, but I was kind of surprised, to, pleasantly surprised to find out I had something different in that package. But this is something that helps to complete uh, part of a, of a collection that I'm working on. So without further ado, I'd love to uh, share with you a little bit uh, about that. So I got this package here today. And while well, there's been a little bit of a roller coaster ride in silver lately, prices are going up again, which is really nice. And um, you know, this is uh, this is uh, again, assuming I know what's inside the the package, this is something that uh, I've been looking to get for a while. Um, I'm working on a collection of the Australian wedge-tailed eagles, and in the in the PF70 or the Mint State 70. And I was able to, uh, well, I'll show you what I've gotten before, but um, through our company, International Silver Network, uh, through the commissions that I earn in my businesses, I have been able to purchase a couple more coins, the PF70s. And um, again, you know, I don't want to be unpleasantly surprised or pleasantly surprised here, but I believe this time I got it right. So I'm going to get into this box and we'll get into finding out exactly what we have here. So two little packages and... Just before I go too far, let me just take a quick peek at the invoice this time and make sure that, in fact, I know what I'm talking about. So, yeah, this is uh, this is one of the beauties about you know being in the international silver network business is you know we get to uh, learn a lot and uh, you know really get some great deals on on some numismatic coins and collectible assets, of course, along with our you know gold and silver bullion. And uh, some also some really interesting, um, you know, silver and gold coin-based jewelry, watches, necklaces, some really nice stuff. So, but from time to time, because we have such great, uh, you know, well-educated people on our team, uh, we uh, we get some kind of inside track and some inside news on some things that are likely to be increasing in value. And we've seen that happen here over the last little while with several of our of our purchases. And um, so this is in this package. I will open it up for you and uh, bust through the packaging and just show you. I don't know which one's going to be which first, but this is the Australian Wedge-Tailed Eagle, and this happens to be the Ultra Cameo High Relief version, and this is such a beautiful coin. This is the 2016 P, and this is, again, a PF70 Ultra Cameo, so you can see that up close and personal there. This is um, a design that is done in conjunction at the Perth Mint of Australia with John Mercanti, who is one of the engravers, one of the uh, chief engravers at the U.S. Mint. So it's kind of a joint venture project, and they are going to continue to produce this series over the course of time. There's the other side, uh, the queen over there. And, um, you know, we have seen similar types of collections. For example, the uh, U.S. Silver Eagle, which started to started its first mintings back in um, 1986, I believe. And if you have the entire collection in uh, Proof 70 or Mid-State 70 form from then until now, you'd have quite a value. Some people estimate that as a multiple six-figure value. So you know, the uh, Australian Mint is, uh, the Perth Mint is doing something similar right now and started in, I believe, 2014. And, um, and it's starting to release these in various forms. And some of these things are really, really, small mintages, very short numbers, small numbers of pressings. So um, let's see, I got the other one here as well. And this should be the PF70, the uh, standard coin. So this is a little bit different than the ones from, from previous. So yes, this is the 2016 Wedge-Tailed Eagle. I'll pull it back so you can get some more focus on that. Just an absolutely stunningly beautiful coin. And again, I'll show you the back side here. Let me get this at the right angle. Yeah, I'll show you the back side. And it's, you know, again, very, very beautiful. So these two side by side, this is the early, early release and the high relief. And um, you can see that they're just a little bit different. The high relief version is, you can't really quite tell from looking at the picture, but it's, or from the video, but it's concave. It's, it's indented, basically. And it's just an absolutely beautiful coin. Both of these are. And uh, you'll see the Mercanti signature, of course, on this one. Uh, this one, sorry, I have to cut it backwards. The Mercanti signature is there. So this goes right along with the rest of my collection. So what I have now is now the 2016 versions. 
Um, I was able to pick up the 2014 here recently, and you'll notice that there's a little bit of a difference in the design of the 2014 versus the 2016, and actually the 15s are the same as the 14s, uh, with the flying eagle versus the, uh, the perched eagle. So there's a little different design, still a very stunning, beautiful coin. So that's the 2014. I also have the 2015 early release in MS70 here, and I also was, got the uh, high relief, which we got as a gray deal, part of a, uh, again, the uh, you know, sort of collector's piece here in the, in the uh, collectible box. It's got, I've got the certificate of authenticity as well. Just absolutely beautiful coins. Let me get the better angle on that. So that's the high relief, again, the concave version. But as you look at these, once again, side by side, you'll see that the, uh, the design is somewhat different. So you've got the flying eagle in the 2015, you've got the perched eagle in the 2016, which just makes it to me that much more interesting and that much more fascinating. And you know, when I first got into this business, I've got to be honest, you know, I've been stacking silver for a long time. I've been, um, you know, since back in the 90s, uh, mostly silver bullion, uh, bullion coins and things like that. And, and uh, when I got involved with International Silver Network, I started to learn a lot more about the numismatic value, about how the collectible value can make, you know, a big difference in your long-term collection. It's not just the melt value of the silver. So, you know, we've been, do been able to get some really great deals. Many times some of these, these uh, coins that we get are uh, the early releases, the you know, low mintages. And we're able to get these at prices that nobody can even touch anywhere across the internet, uh, eBay, other places that we search for, you know, for these types of coins. And, um, you know, it's just an amazing, amazing deal to know that you can kind of go into profit with some of these uh, bargains that we get right out of the blocks. And then, of course, they're going to continue to increase in value over time. So, and we get to do all this through a, a leveraged, you know, direct sales network marketing type of a structure. And, you know, surprisingly, uh, even though it is a network marketing business, even our bullion prices are very, very competitive with the some of the top producers of, uh, of silver, top distributors of silver on the Internet. So um, if you're interested in learning more about the silver business, learning more about how you can increase your wealth and your asset base uh, using collectible coins and uh, bullion coins, we've got gold and silver. Um, and again, like I said, the silver jewelry, just you know, get in touch with me, you know, give me a like down there and down below here and, um, you know, get in touch with me. I'm, I'm not hard to find and uh, you'll see a link to over to a website and, and reach out because, you know, it's definitely worth checking into this as far as looking at an opportunity to collect coins and collect bullion, especially while the prices of silver is so low right now. Again, we're at, um, you know, the 20th of February here of 2016 and it's just amazing how low the prices of silver still are and we're expecting that price to rise immensely over time. You know, I don't have a crystal ball, but I'll tell you what, instead of, you know, lotions and potions and nutritionals and things like that that we could be getting on a monthly basis, I'm more than happy to get a, an increase in my wealth and my asset base every single month. So that's all I really have for you today. I do appreciate you spending the time with me. Once again, you know, please give me a like or a comment down below and, and uh, let me know if you have an interest. We'll chat and I'll, I'll tell you a little bit more about how this business works and how you too can you know, become a silver stacker along with us. So you take care. I hope you're having a great day and hope you continue to talk to you soon on the next next video. Bye.